Um, the idea of the project um, I came up um, was so I came up with the idea for this project uh, during uh, my work. Or, so I'm working with multi-sided Minoan and Mycenaean seals, which are documented in the corpus of Minoan and Mycenaean seals. Uh, it's a long-term project, which was started in 1958 in Marburg. Now is, has moved to Heidelberg in 2011. <laughs> and the most important thing of this project is that it produces a publication series consisting of 25 printed volumes, where each seal is documented in, and nine supplementary volumes. <laughs> 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 And some of these uh, volumes are also digitized. And so there's one supplementary volume that has been of specific interest for me, that's supplementary volume number four, which is which has the title A Biography for Aegean Glyptic in the Bronze Age and was compiled by John Younger and uh, is available online. Problem with this, or well, it's, it's so it's structured in, in the part where the authors and the actual exact references are listed and then there's a later part where we have topics and places and the uh, short cuts to the authors are linked so you have to go back to the, a few pages back to the reference to actually see where you get the book or article from. So, so the thing is, it provides a very nice intro introduction into the area, uh, but the problem is that it was published in 1991 and no reference in this book is, or in the bibliography is later than 1990. So why not try to create an online version of this that is interactive and also easily extensible? I did some research and found Wikidata. I don't know how many of you are, are acquainted with it. I hope afterwards you really I love this thing and I hope I can convince you of, of the same. Um, so in Wikidata, um, it's a database for structured information that uh, has like the, the same concept, um, like has the same concept as Wikipedia. So everybody can contribute and everybody can change or correct. So it's um, you get like the brains of the community and, and things change. And what you see here is an example of how the entry for the bibliography looks like in Wikidata. So you have labels in multiple languages, can input the author, then can input topics um, and so on. And as I said, anybody, anybody can do this. Um, so then the other thing is that in Wikipedia, Data, you cannot only enter references, but you can also enter topics, you can enter periods and epochs and places, and you can also enter object information, which then, um, oh yeah, and this uh, project I'm presenting you here is um, described in a dedicated data set page. So if you're interested to, to see what I'm actually doing and, and what my problems are, you can have a look. Um, yeah. So that's what you can input into Wikidata. And then there's another way you want, if you want to access the, the information, you, you have different ways. So you can query the information with, a, with Sparkle. So this query, for example, asks for um, any place that is marked as an archaeological site and is 500 kilometers around Knossos. And when the query is finished, you get a nice map with some dots on it. Um, then there's another tool that is called Scolia that is, uh, was developed specific from, from a project related uh, to Wikidata, which is called Wikisite. And there you can have a look at, um, for example, for a specific topic, what um, publications are in Wikidata. So this is what I've already input into Wikidata for the um, bibliography. And this is already a really nice overview where you can, uh, where you can see when publications uh, um, were 
published. And then uh, you get even uh, co-author graphs and you also get uh, co-occurring topic maps. And also a map for things that, um, so if, if, you're, if there's a place reference, um, referenced in the entry, then you get it on a map. And then the other thing is, since it's Spartle and you can use, and then if you can use JavaScript and so on, you can build your own dedicated application, which I did. And then uh, now it's also possible to filter, and I still have some functions in it from in my mind to to improve and extend that. And the idea is that this tool should be. Um, so this is the, the custom application, should be available and generic enough so that everybody else can reuse it for other references related to other topics. So because this tool works with the, um, so the, the topic that gets a reference into the list is the uh, geoglyptic. So any reference that, it, that is marked with a geoglyptic will get into the thing. And then maybe uh, to expand a bit on, on what Wikidata and archaeology and how this uh, can is, is compatible, uh, you already have a lot of items in Wikidata that are related to archaeology. So you have information about archaeologists, archaeological say, sites, periods, objects, and also their creators. So the, the antique, for example, the antique vase painters are already in there. Then you have a connection to controlled vocabularies, which is really nice because then you have a place where you find many connections to other controlled vocabularies. It's multilingual and you have a very flexible data model. Yeah, so that's uh, it. And uh, I can show you around if you're interested. Uh, yeah.